I'm Sean Nelson, inventor of sectionals. I'm going to show you how to cover your sectionals seat. A sectional seat cover comes in three pieces, typically delivered together. You've got a seat frame cover, also a seat cushion cover is included, as well as a back pillow cover. We'll start with the seat frame. Putting on a seat frame cover is a bit like putting a fitted sheet on a bed. Toss it over and then work on each corner. Only don't pull any corner all the way down. If you do, it'll make it very difficult to put that last corner on. Once all the corners are over, pull it over like a sock, moving it toward the floor evenly, rotating as you go. The goal is to get these stitched seams to line up perfectly with the edges of the sectional seat frame. If you do that, the result is that it will look just like a full strip, impossible to tell the difference, and not like a floppy slip cover. Get them straight, get them even, and then turn your sectional seat upside down like this. If the fabric does not reach the bottom of the seat frame and the corners are exposed, it's not a good look. You might need to use a little bit of pressure in your fingers to pull the fabric over the corners, extending to toward the floor. Once your seat frame cover is on and the seams at the edges are all aligned and straight, start with the longest edge of the sectionals in one corner and attach just the edge of the Velcro very lightly, like this. I do this so I can get the Velcro straight and so that after I've touched it to the edge of the connecting Velcro, I can just smooth it flat with my hand and the edge panel is smooth. Work your way around the sectionals in, in any one direction connecting the edge of that Velcro before flattening it. If you just smash the Velcro on in any old way, you end up with tucks and wrinkles that will show on the face. Instead, again, attach the cover lightly at the edge of the Velcro, pulling it evenly all the way down the face, and then smooth it with your hand. The result will be perfect upholstery looking covers. And that's the hallmark of sectionals. Smooth, beautiful, washable, changeable forever. Amazing. Putting the seat cushion covers on also takes a little bit of a trick. Unzip the cushion cover and place it over the cushion for alignment. Start with either edge of the cushion and shove it into the top edge of the cushion cover. That's the edge that has the arc in the zipper. Make sure that the bottom of the cushion, which you'll know because it has the zipper, is also facing the direction of the zipper of the cushion cover. You don't want to be sitting on the uncomfortable zipper that's in your cushion underneath your cover. Once you have the end in where the arc is, flip it on its top and put your knee into the cushion and bend it in half. That makes it quite easy to then shove the other end of the cushion the other end of the seat cushion cover and allow the flex of the cushion to spring it out and fill it in. Don't zip it up yet. Take your hand and work your way around the cushion edge, trying to align the edges of that firm foam cushion with the welting on the fabric. This will make it look like it fits perfectly. If you don't do that, then the cushion will look weird inside the cover and won't be a perfect love sack fit like it was designed to be. Putting in that little bit of extra work will really make the final product look amazing. Zip it up, then attach the Velcro on the bottom of the cushion cover to the Velcro on the seat frame, and you're ready to go. Sectional's back pillow covers are the easiest part. Just shove one end of the back pillow up into one end of that cover. Like any pillowcase, should fit quite easily. But here's the pro tip. Hold the pillow by the bottom and shake it, allowing it to fill out that casing nicely. Using your hand, make sure the corners of the pillow fill out the corners of the cover. Drop it and then zip it up. One more pro tip. Over time, when you use your sectionals, your pillows could get smashed flat by your big lazy dog or your uncle who never moves from that corner cushion or whatever. It's nice to be able to flip your cushions over, unzip them, rotate 
the cushion within the cover. So what was at the top of the case is now at the bottom and allow gravity to do the work and re-fluff your back pillows for you. Zip it back up. And your sectionals back pillows have all new life again. Now we're going to cover a side piece. A side in sectionals can work as a back or as an arm interchangeably. This side is upholstered in this gray fabric made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. 31 bottles at least went in the manufacturing of this side and Love Sack has already recycled hundreds of millions of water bottles. The side cover fits over like a glove. It's important to get the clamp hole in the front of this cover aligned with the clamp hole in the side. So don't get it backwards or you'll end up doing it again. Simply place one edge of the side over the far edge and the opposite edge over just a few inches. If you pull it too far down, you'll make it difficult on the opposite edge. So extend the fabric about five or six inches down, alternating sides. Do this until you're toward the bottom and then grab it by the clamp hole, flip it over and finish pulling the cover on using your thumbs for leverage. Don't do the Velcro yet. If I do, my edges and seams will not be aligned well with the side and the covers will not look good. Take the time to stand it up, use your fingers and palms to pull the covers around and align these seams with the edges of the sectionals piece inside. Rotate it around and do this on all edges and all sides. This extra 30 seconds of effort will result in perfectly upholstered looking sectionals that can still be removed for washing and changing. Now that my edges and seams are well aligned, I will take the sectionals cover and attach the Velcro at its very nearest edge only, making sure it's straight all the way across before smashing it down flat. If you need to use your thumbs to pull the covers up over these corners, go ahead and use some pressure, but don't pull so hard that you end up smashing the fabric at the top of the cover where it meets the foam on the top of the arm. You want everything to be smooth and crisp, but not too tight either. Attach the other edge of the Velcro in the same manner, making sure it's even and straight before smashing it flat. And then the ends, making sure that the covers cover the corner of the side piece and they don't stick out or can be seen from the front. You never want to pull too hard, but you need to pull hard enough that it covers the entire side, including the corners. Once the covers are on straight, they look just like upholstery. They can still be machine washed or changed for the rest of your life as your sectionals adapt with you. Covering sectional storage seat frames is similar to a standard seat frame with one extra step. A sectional storage seat frame has this lid on top that has Velcro underneath and requires its own cover. Simply drape the cover over the top of the seat frame. That's the gray fabric portion. Get all of the corners of the storage seat frame lid over the gray fabric and aligned with the seams on the piece itself. Avoid having bunches at the corners or crooked seams that don't align. Flip the lid over and starting with the longest side, attach the Velcro nice and loosely along the closest edge before smashing it flat. Work your way in a counterclockwise or clockwise fashion around the piece, attaching the nearest edge of Velcro, pulling snugly, but not too hard. Attach that nearest edge of Velcro gently and then smash it flat for a smooth, even, straight line on each piece of Velcro. Now that the lid is covered, take the seat frame cover and drape it over the seat frame. Don't pull any one corner down too far in the beginning or it makes it very difficult to pull the opposing corner down over the seat frame. Work each corner down a few inches at a time, trying to get the seams on the cover to align with the seams on the piece itself. The more you align these seams, the better the final product will look. The goal is to make these covers look like real upholstery that just happens to be able to be removed for washing or changing, not like a floppy slip cover. 
Attach the Velcro on the seat frame to the underside of the storage seat frame lip. There's Velcro on the other side. Try to make it very smooth as you work your way around in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. Don't pull it too tightly at this point. Just enough to fit the Velcro to its opposing face. You want to leave enough fabric on the outside so that the bottom side is able to align as well and that the edges are all able to be covered, especially these corner points. If the fabric doesn't quite reach up over the corner, use your thumbs to pull it tightly and begin with the longest Velcro piece, attaching it gently at the nearest edge and then smoothing it flat. That's how you end up with straight Velcro and straight Velcro results in straight covers. Make sure that all the corners are covered by your decorative cover. You can't see the gray fabric sticking out. And then flip your sectional seat over. It's ready to receive the lid of the storage seat. The storage seats by Love Sack are designed for life. Built to last a lifetime and designed to evolve, like everything else we make.